Hello everybody, it's Over Tyler here, and we're back at our Let's Play in Rakami. We're gonna, I, we're going to back to a guarded village because there are forced, because um, there is another dog here, the K9 warrior. So, I already kind of saved the trouble of you having to not have to watch me go from one from Sasha Century all the way here. So I'm like, you know, we're just gonna start here because there's nothing in between, really, unless you're just going screwing around. So. Figure we'll get this I got it the one in the god of forest and then we'll go to Kamiki village to get the last dog and then we'll go back to Kusa village and then we get to the second temple. Yeah, he's over here. Hello, Mr. Sounds like a carry, but you're testing Kakari. Hope. The moonfish. Oh, <laughs> uh, when I think of a whopper, I think of a whopper from Burger King. That sounds really good right now. I'm not crazy about fast food, but I've always loved Burger King. <laughs> their food, especially their chicken nuggets or chicken sandwiches, in honor of Dane Cook. Because they call it a chicken sandwich. They swallowed the moon. He probably did. <laughs> if you can eat the moon, you're probably a hungry boy. Visiting what? What? He was visiting the spring. That's up here, I think. Oh, the hobo there. Oh, it's Kushi! Kushi, Kushi. Barrels. Barrels. <laughs> it's Kushi. What you up to, sweetie? <laughs> God damn it, this son. Well, you can tell he's definitely a ladies' man. Holy sake. <laughs> Holy son of a sock. Oh. For the eight heads of Orochi. Whoa. <laughs> They used, yeah. <laughs> they beat Orochi by making him drunk. It's funny how that, how that works. That's one way to. I mean, I. Yeah, see. They got the beast drunk off and got it off its heads. <laughs> I mean, it works. Really, because obviously, when you're drunk, you're not yourself, and he probably got like, whoa, I can't focus. And like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> gotcha. Get. Can I work? It Hmm. That's a good point. Where is he anyway? Uh-oh. <laughs> 
All right, Susanna, come to stick up. Come to save the lady. Susanna. Come on, you got this, Susanna. Because Susanna and Kushi are basically a couple. So I get he's like, he's doing it for the lady. I'll give him that. He's like, oh, cuck, damn it. Come on, Susanna, you got this. Use your magical wooden sword to stick it to him real good. Come on. In the name of love. So quick about it. Bye-bye. I guess whenever, uh, Amin Rossi uses the Celestial Brush, nobody can see it, but, um, her and, um, his son. Because everybody's like, what the hell just happened? And then, then Amir's just like, nothing. Yo, <laughs> 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 Ever since what, Susanna? Did you something you regret? <laughs> I wasn't really a battle, Susanna. You literally just were just attacking an innocent animal for, because you thought it was, ooh, it's a beast. It's a giant bear sleeping on a ball, leave it alone. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Here she is, okay? Okay. It's fishing time.
Like, I had nothing against fishing, but the fishing minigame in, uh, in this game, I suck really bad. I'm not that good at it. So, it's just like me trying to 100% the game catching all the fish, and I'm just like, I don't want to do it, but I have to because I'm a completionist at art. Hello, Mr. Moonfish. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, somebody help me! Oh yeah, because he got eaten by the Spider Queen. Can't forget about her. Oh boy, can't forget about her. Snag that Whopper yet. Just go to Burger King, you get Whoppers there, right, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nope. Yeah, well, that's the only thing you can do at this point. Story progression! Whee! How come I hit the line on the fishy? Come on, get rid of fishy. 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 Come on. Missy crawfish. Yep, uh, god damn it. No. You don't make you can't get in the red because it will drain. I mean you could do it just to make it so you get the fish faster, but yeah, yeah. You usually have to cut them multiple times with the celestial brush, and you can't do it just once. Like see. That's what makes it annoying. You have to catch three fish, two fish in a row, small fish, to make the big fish appear, and then you have to catch the big fish multiple times and cut it down with the celestial, with the power slash before you can even get it. It's like, god damn it! It just made it really a pain in the ass. Really? Oh, goodbye. Really? I didn't. And look at that! Now I had to start from scratch again because, god damn it. If it wasn't like you didn't have to re-catch the small fish again and you can go right back to the big fish, it wouldn't be such a pain in the ass, but no, you have to start it away from scratch. It's like, like you just had to make it a pain in the ass and you don't wanna, it's not really fun at that point. And again, it gets way more harder catching the fish later, the bigger ones. Like, I could probably say, at least for me, this is the hardest minigame in the whole game. Like, I find it annoying in a lot of games that why are minigames harder than the actual game, like, the actual, like, main gameplay? So, like, like, why? Like, Zelda games are a perfect example, and Mario games, Super Mario games. Like, it is, why are the minigames have to be more bullshittier and harder than the main game? And it's like, oh yeah, you want 100% the game? <laughs> you gotta do all those shitty mini games, those crappy, bullshitty hard mini games, to um, basically 100% the game. Come on. I don't mind. 
I don't mind draining some stamina. Woo! You got a Burger King Whopper, but it's in the fish form. Whee! <laughs> I hit the... Yep. Good job, kid. Good. Oh, he's fine. It's the moon. more celestial breast techniques. Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna... Eh, eh, eh. Oh, wait. I didn't... I missed that one. Right? Hit. Hit it. Hit it. What is it this time? It's a bunny! Oh, isn't there, a, like, a legend in Japan or China, in China, or, or... Like, there's bunnies that live in the moon. That's why it's associated with that. That's why there's, like... What the heck? Um, it's Super Mario Odyssey. Um, there's a bunch of bunnies on the moon, and all the... The Brutals? They're actually... They live in the moon. Hence the legend. Because they're rabbits. That subtle theme you hear in the background is the theme for Anna Morasso, and it's called Rising Sun. You hear that, like, in almost everything. Like, that sound right there. So, if you listen to closer to a lot of the music and the sound, and all this, the whole soundtrack, that, you will hear that a lot. And now I can change it between night and day, so I don't have to wait if I want to do stuff at night for doing the want to list. It's the opposite direction. Fine, I'll do this one instead. It's that way. <laughs> yeah. First things first. God damn it, this son. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to face it?
You have no choice. Here we go again. Yeah, you wanna play a game? Oh, fuck. Oh, you're, you're doing the fucking brown braid, you shit. Planted explosive shit everywhere? No. No. <laughs> That's my duty. <laughs> That's a good one, son. <laughs> Another gamer poop thing. Sky from Skyrim. Gamer poop Skyrim. We definitely watched those. Highly intriguing, but actually highly disturbing. But also just a They do go back. Uh, I know I can, I can. Did I already feed you? I guess I fed him already. Okay. Okay, is that it? Are we done? Okay, well. So, next place, we gotta go back to Kamiki. We gotta go back to Kamiki Village. Whoop. Whoop. Oops. <laughs> I think there's a mermaid spring up here that you can fast travel to there, I think. But first things first, I'm gonna save. Cause saving's important. Yeah, I already you can um basically you see that the board is felt and just beep. So And then you see the, there was fire on these, all you do is take the water, put it on them. And if you have also the wind celestial brush technique, then you can also use that too. If there's no water around, then that's how you're supposed to blow out the fires. When you get the technique for it. Okay. Is that a- wait. That's- is this a mermaid spring? Nah. I feel like that serves a purpose. Can't cut these, you need power, uh, stronger power slash. I forgot if the mermaid springs do take you to the, um, Kamiki. I mean, it's the only fast traveling you have until you get the celestial brush, or the, uh, item or celestial brush technique that lets you... Like, any origin mirror that has an X on it, you literally draw an X on it, and then it like, Oh, now you can fast, and then it'll let you fast travel. In bet between them. Which is basically everything in the game. So, you never have to worry about that. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I mean, since the field's still closer, still the closest you're gonna get. Dun 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 dun. Where's Kimiki at? Right down here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can do? No, I still need the wind thing to do majority of the things. Whee! 
Wait, what about Cushy in the water? Shit. Do I have to go back? Do I have to go back and help her? I forgot. Yep. Well, you can already tell from the beginning of the game there was like that dog that was like. It's right there. I don't know if I had to fight them. Give me those fast balls. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I already you ready. Talk okay. Don't you mean dog the wolf? <laughs> it's like the canine. It's like, there you are, you bastard! It's like screaming. Yeah, go back tonight. So you want to play that game? Well, fun. And now it's night time. Do you want to talk now? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Man, the... Here we go again! No, it's because it's the only way you can go and get them to get the item you need. Someone, another person needs to be slapped. Eh, 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 eh. You fucking piece of shit. Don't be- Oh, you're taking holes to- If you- The holes literally stun you. If you go in there. Don't you stop it. Fuck you. Oh, oh, I see the dirt's hurting. Yeah, fuck you. Thank you. goes on the person's house that needs to be sacrificed to Orochi. Oh! Yeah, that too. Coincidence. Well, the food moon isn't gonna happen until we kill the second boss. Cause game progression. Yeah. No. Boom, boom. No, it is. No, the dogs go back later because you have to face all eight of them at once. God damn, that battle sucks. That and doing the devil trial gates that you have to face the fuck ton of the the, the ten waves of enemies or more of that or sad. Those are that those suck. Those battles are probably like harder than a lot of the bosses in the game, besides the final boss. And also, how the heck did I never notice that? Anything else? Yeah, so we gotta go back to Sasha's 
Sanctuary. Or not Sasha Sanctuary, the Kyushu Village. Because again, you see the... These marks, you literally, you draw next like that. And it's like, fast travel! So. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here, and then we'll continue off right back at Kusa Village. I'm just literally going to travel over there and start the video from there because it's be easier. Because, again, there's nothing in between Kamiki Village and there. So, it'll we'll just be easier. Just to wait to that. But, thank you guys, everybody, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.